In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbour, grant that, by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Haggai. In the second year of King Darius, on the first day of the sixth month, the word of the Lord was addressed through the prophet Haggai to Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, high commissioner of Judah, and to Joshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest, as follows. The Lord of hosts says this. This people says, The time has not yet come to rebuild the temple of the Lord. And the word of the Lord was addressed through the prophet Haggai as follows. Is this a time for you to live in your panelled houses when this house lies in ruins? So now the Lord of hosts says this, Reflect carefully how things have gone for you. You have sown much and harvested little. You eat but never have enough. Drink but never have your fill. Put on clothes but do not feel warm. The wage earner gets his wages only to put them in a purse riddled with holes. So go to the hill country, fetch wood and rebuild the house. I shall then take pleasure in it and be glorified there, says the Lord. The Word of the Lord The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips, this honour is for all his faithful. The Lord takes delight in his people. Alleluia, Alleluia! Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may consider the wonders of your law. Alleluia! The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Herod the Tetrarch had heard about all that was being done by Jesus and was puzzled because some people were saying that John had risen from the dead, others that Elijah had reappeared, still others that one of the ancient prophets had come back to life. But Herod said, John, I beheaded him. So who is this I hear such reports about? And he was anxious to see Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Sisters and brothers, in our world today, we are flooded by opinions of people everywhere through social media, news outlets, and even in our daily conversation. These opinions can shape our thoughts and actions. However, our readings today show us what can happen when we are so absorbed by our own opinions or the opinions of others. In our first reading, the Israelites gave 
little priority to the, to the rebuilding of the Temple of Jerusalem. Within their own opinions, they felt their own comfort were more important than rebuilding God's house. However, the prophet Haggai had to remind them what, that if they put their own opinions and desires above God's will, they risk missing out on his blessings. In our gospel, when Herod the Tetrarch heard about Jesus, he was troubled and anxious. He wanted to meet Jesus not because he wants to learn from him or follow his teachings, but the opinions of others may have led him to feel threatened by Jesus' presence. Therefore, from these two examples, let us reflect and see how, like the Israelites, we have put God last in the least of our priorities, and like Herod, have allowed the opinions of others to cause us distress. Let us ask ourselves, in our own busy schedule and commitments, do we prioritize our own ambition and desires over God? Do we allow the worldly opinions and concerns of others regarding our Catholic teachings to distract or sway us away from believing in the true teachings of the Church, especially in matters of morality? Therefore, today we are reminded that while we are all entitled to have our opinions heard, however, when it comes to our faith, there is one opinion that should matter above all others, God's Word. As Christians, our ultimate goal is not to seek the approval of the world or to conform to popular opinions. God's Word is the one that truly matters because God's plan and purposes for us are far greater than anything we can conceive of our own. Hence, in all that we do, let us always give priority to seek God's will through prayer and meditating on the Scriptures. In faithfully doing so, we can see the workings of God in our life and the blessings we receive every day from Him. And more importantly, no one can distract our beliefs and trust in God. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.